In terms of highly sought after muscle groups, Yujiro's back is in a league of its own, having achieved an almost legendary status amongst anime fans. More precisely, his demon back, which is a technique only inherited by certain members of the Anma bloodline, is seen by many as the coolest body part to possess, and a lot of people wonder if it's possible to build it naturally. I will be answering this question during this video, as well as giving you the training you need to follow if you want to build a demon back of your own. First off, let's state the obvious. The physique of Yujiro Anma is not achievable by mere mortals, especially without drugs. The good thing is that you already knew that, and since there's nothing wrong about using a fictional character's physique for inspiration, trying to build a body that would rival that of the ogre will make for excellent motivation fuel. Now, the issue that arises with the demon back is that in terms of realism, it's not technically possible for us to replicate in real life. I know that it's become a trend to look at super jacked anime characters and claim that their physique is within reach of the average Joe. But the issue is that in this case, it literally isn't. You see, when Yujiro Anma activates his demon back, it's not just his muscles that grow. They actually get rearranged in the shape of a face, hence the name. That doesn't mean that the way they are drawn is inaccurate, as Itagaki is an expert in anatomy. But the size that some of them take, and the separation and lines that appear between the fibers are highly exaggerated, and fail to respect human proportions. That's good news considering it's not the most aesthetic to begin with, as it serves a purely functional role in the manga, that of making the August punches more powerful. And while it does look badass to have a back with the face of a demon on it, the same result can be accomplished without having to be so big that it makes your arms look like twigs in comparison. The only missing piece will be the smile, as the amount of development needed in your serratus posterior to be able to have a six-pack on your lower back requires to stay at a low body fat, and that's going to make bulking up your yoke harder. And since a thick upper back is more important for this goal than a strided lumbar area, it'll have to be ignored. When looking at an anatomical chart, there are three main zones that present themselves as being essential to develop for a proper demon back, namely the lats, traps, and rhomboids. Even though the lower back is not a main focus for reasons exposed earlier, you will see that it still gets enough work to grow and protect you from injuries. In terms of upper back workouts, instead of giving you an exact program to follow, I will be sharing with you the lifts that you need to do to develop these muscles. That way, you can just add these exercises to your split, which is the way you should be going about it anyway. Building a demon back will take a long time, and there is really no point in focusing all your efforts on it for a short burst of energy just to give up after a few weeks and go back to your normal training. The upper back is by far the area of the body that has the highest potential for size, which is tragic considering how little most people work theirs. In that sense, the birth of a real life demon back might be possible. It's just going to depend on how much you want it and how long you stick with it. The main movement pattern to achieve that goal is the pull that I will be dividing between hip hinges and vertical slash horizontal pulls. Your bread and butter will be deadlifts and pull-ups, as they offer superior upper back development. The logic behind doing deadlifts is that they help thicken the posterior chain, and also do a lot for traps and rhomboids growth, while offering good lower back stimulation if you know how to do them properly. Any other type of pull from the floor will serve the same purpose. As for pull-ups, they will hypertrophy your lats like nothing else, granted you do them with proper form. If questions about certain lifts arise, check the tutorial playlist for information. You can do them with body weight only or weighted, and switching grips will allow you to do them more often, which I highly encourage since accumulating volume on them is key. Those compound movements constitute the base of your demon back training, both shaping the outside of the face and thickening its middle. You won't only stick to these two exercises, however, as adding variations to your workouts will help develop the back more harmoniously. In terms of horizontal pulls, I recommend doing dumbbell rows over their barbell variant, as they often make for a better stretch at the bottom, due to the heightened stability. You can do them with different grips, and target the traps or lats more, depending on your torso angle. As far as dumbbell movements go, I also highly encourage you to do pullovers, which are in my opinion the best lats exercise after pull-ups. 
If you have a tough time feeling your back working on pulls, they can also help by making you feel more connected to your upper back. Both them and dumbbell rows have very little impact on the lower back, which will allow you to stay fresh for deadlifts. They participate in building a more 3D demon back, allowing you to focus more on the details. If you want to add another pull to your arsenal, you can try ring rows, which closely resemble pull-ups in that they can be done with body weight or weighted and are easy to recover from. I suggest doing them with body weight only, as you can just elevate your feet to raise the difficulty if needed. Make sure to really pull with your back on these and reduce the arms engagement to a minimum, as it can be easy to have them overtake the movement. To wrap this up, and for superior yoke development, slap some shrugs on top of that. You can modify your torso angle to target either the upper, middle or lower traps, but just standing there holding heavy weight will do wonders to develop these areas. This will be the final touch to your demon back, both in terms of size and separation. Don't hesitate to use traps for these movements, besides maybe for pull-ups, which you should be able to handle without much difficulty. Sets, rep ranges and frequency for each lift can be found in the description. Of course, you don't have to do every single exercise presented on this list. This is just a broad panorama of the type of workouts you'll have to do if you want to build a demon back. I recommend you start with just deadlifts and pull-ups at first, and gradually add more and more movement into your training, at a rate that you deem appropriate for progression and recovery. Don't try to do these all at once, as you'll just end up overtaxed. Remember. The key to having a big bag that resembles that of Yujiro is patience and hard work over a long period of time. In the world of Grappler Baki, the demon back is inherited. In hours, it's earned. So go out there and pay the iron price. You'll be rewarded with gains and a new pair of eyes to prevent any assassin from striking you from behind. Thanks for watching and check the playlist for more anime workouts.